UNCP football head coach Shane Richardson on National Signing Day. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me today. This year's class is a 25-member signing class, which is the largest for this program since 2009. You signed seven offensive linemen, four cornerbacks, five linebackers, four defensive linemen, also added two quarterbacks, two safeties, and one tight end. What are your thoughts now that all these guys have signed? One of the things I like the most about this class is um, the character that they bring to the table, the GPAs that they uh, are going to bring with them uh, coming into school as great students. Uh, we got a chance to sit in almost every single one of their living rooms and talk with them and their parents and their families. And um, these are guys that we feel extremely good about adding to our program from uh, just an all around individual standpoint. And so I think that's really the thing that sticks out the most. Although I'm extremely excited about what they're gonna be able to do for us on the field. Uh, we were able to address some depth with the offensive line uh, with the defensive backs and the linebackers. And I think those three positions, uh, they were a little bit out of whack as far as the quality of depth uh, that we had on the team this year. And we were able to catch that up in this class. And so feel really, really good about all 25 guys. And I think we've addressed uh, kind of just all positions in general to where we can start getting a healthy class each and every year from here on out. Talk about the process that went into signing this class, when it started, and how all the long nights on the road to secure what looks like a class that will take this program to the next level. So the process really starts uh, in April of the year before. And so uh, we get out into the high schools uh, during these guys' junior years and uh, get their junior year film and talk to their head coaches and get them, try to get them to come to our camp and uh, we'll see them throughout the summer, maybe at some other camps on our campus, at our camp, uh, and then we'll be able to get out and see their games during the fall. Uh, December 1st starts when we can start contacting them in person and what we'll do is we'll have recruiting coach connect with them in person, we'll have a position coach, possibly coordinator, and then myself. And so uh, all the way through December and January, we're making home visits, school visits, getting to know their families, and then we bring them on campus in January for official visits, have them spend time with us uh, here in our environment, uh, have them get to know the campus, get to know our players, uh, get to know just the whole coaching staff um, all around and really we exhaust every resource and piece of information possible until we have a decision from them or even make them an offer and, and I think our process uh, might be looked at as a little bit backwards from some other people the way they, they do it but I love it I think it works I think we take care of a lot of things on the front end to really invest in knowing who these guys are and we know what we're getting they know what they're getting themselves into and it creates uh, a great sense of commitment when we get these guys and so um, it's been a long process uh, our guys have worked extremely hard as a coaching staff here this past month and uh, it's it's kind of come to fruition today and we're really excited about it you have 17 starters returning next season, including nine on the offensive side of the ball. How strong do you see next year's team being overall, especially with the addition of the high quality guys in this signing class? I think uh, this is going into year three of, of kind of our transition and our staff being in place and just where the program is at with me being the head coach. Uh, I think uh, we're gonna be that much more ingrained in our philosophy and in tune to what we do and how we do things. And I think, um, our guys on the team right now, they've embraced that. And that's one of the challenges that we have going uh, into this spring is that our guys understand uh, how to really take more initiative in, in who we are and how we do things to help us perform better. And so uh, they're doing that right now. I think these 25 guys, uh, there's gonna be definitely a handful that could potentially come in and even fight for some, some depth positions and, and some backup spots and some roles that potentially could see them on the field. And so uh, very excited about what they have a chance to do. And uh, that's, that's always fun to see how that shakes out in August. All right, let's get into this class a little bit, starting with the offensive linemen. They all have great size, including a couple of six foot five guys. What are your thoughts on the O-line? Well, I think offensive line wise, uh, we have addressed the quality of depth need uh, right now. I, I would say uh, this past fall and even going into this spring, um, we're working with probably about six guys that we really feel strongly about in the sense of they've uh, proven themselves, 
but then after that you know there's a little bit of a drop off we're not quite sure what we have as far as the depth goes and so bringing in you know these guys now this year they will have an opportunity to maybe step up into the the sixth seventh eighth ninth roles there and uh, ideally we'd like to redshirt uh, most of them but um, it, it's going to be uh, exciting to watch those guys grow and they have body types that we're really excited about and I think the offensive line now is at a place where there's a, a healthy uh, maturation process that's taking place in the quality of depth that we have there. Let's group the corners and safeties together right now but talk about uh, targeting that specific area on Code Black and some of the guys who could see time right away next season. I think the defensive backs, uh, we, we have flipped in about a year as to what we're going to look like at that position. We got uh, six of our top seven defensive backs that were on our board from day one. And uh, the one that we lost, he's going to an FCS school. And uh, you know, we, we, we feel extremely good about the six guys that we're signing there, uh, the four corners and the two safeties. Um, you know, I think all of those guys from just a skill level, they're right on par with each other. Um, they're all uh, within that 5'9 range all the way up to the 5'11", 6 foot range. There's a couple really tall, long rangey kids in there. They all move extremely well. Um, I, I see probably three of them being able to see time next year, and then we'd like to be able to redshirt about three of them. Um, I don't know who those are going to be, but um, you know, I think they, they've all got extremely strong film. I don't think that there's one guy on there that we'd say was ranked lower than the other guy next to him at that position. I think they're all fantastic players and they're really going to help us uh, in the secondary to help defend well. Linebacker has been a position that has been particularly strong for the Braves over the last four to five years and you added five more to the depth chart. These are guys that could push for playing time next year as well. Absolutely. Uh, the linebacker group uh, I think have the two marquee signees of the class in that group right there. So out of the five, um, the two marquee signees that I see are going to be Jordan Howard out of North Brunswick High School. Uh, he's going to come in, he's going to play outside linebacker for us in our Sam Nickel position and uh, he's going to be put into the field and uh, he's, he's going to be rangy, he's going to be athletic, he's going to be somebody that can go get the ball, he's going to be somebody that can tackle well, is very physical. I mean, his skill set is all around very, very good. High academic guy, great family, uh, just a guy that you really want on your team and in your program. And so I'm extremely excited about his future. Uh, the other guy is an inside linebacker, Miles Moore, out of Weddington High School. And uh, his physicality and the way that he can run and cut and react to plays, uh, he brings a different element at the linebacker position. and. Um, I think he'll have a, an opportunity to contribute right away. Very smart kid uh, and, and just a very confident player. And, and I think he's uh, very confident in his abilities and what he can do. And I think it, it shows in the sense of his performance. And so those two guys right there, Jordan and uh, Miles, I'm extremely excited to work with personally with them. And uh, they're going to make our linebacker room a lot, lot better. You added four guys on the defensive line, mainly on the outside of the line. What were some of the things you wanted to address on the defensive front heading into this process? Yeah, I think uh, it's a little bit like the offensive line in the sense of we need some quality depth there. And I'm a firm believer that you've got to win up front and you, you got to make sure that the offense and defensive lines are going to be physical, they're going to be the body types that you want. And defensive line wise, um, if, they're, if they're big, if they can move well and if they show any sign on film that they could be a good fit for what you're doing, I think you got to take a chance on them and you got to go after them. And, and so we did that. And so um, there's, a, there's a couple guys right there that I think have high, high ceilings. Don't know that they'll play right away next year. I think it's always tough up front to, to put yourself in that position. But um, Donovan Wirt out of Hope County, uh, Sam Barbosa out of Northside, uh, Keenan Evans out of uh, Cary, and then um, my fourth one is um, <laughs> we've got um, Alex Richardson out of the mountains, Ash County. And so those guys, I think, all bring the qualities that you want at defensive line to give us great depth, and I look forward to them developing. You also signed a tight end in this class, a position that you've utilized a bunch over the last couple of years. What kinds of things do you look for in a potential starter at that position? He's got to be physical. He's got to be able to block. Um, you know, from the tight end position, we want an all-around guy, and that's tough. He's got to be able to block 
and be physical like an old lineman he's got to also be able to go out for routes and understand coverages and catch the ball and have the skill set of potentially a receiver or a skill guy and so uh, this guy Ronald Porter uh, from Butler High School uh, I think he encompasses all of those things is he ready to play next year maybe I mean there is a potential uh, that he could come in and contribute now it's always tough for freshmen to do that but um, I think he's got the, the potential to do that and his skill set is very good good big frame mature guy um, he's all in I mean he knew that he wanted to come to UNCP as soon as he stepped foot on campus and uh, that's a great attribute that that will serve him well and so uh, he's got a good personality and I think he'll be really really good for our team and our offense all right, putting signing day behind us now, what are some of the plans for your program over the next couple months? When does spring ball start and when is the spring game scheduled to take place at Grace P. Johnson Stadium? Spring ball will start um, uh, the Monday after we get back from spring break. And so I believe that's March the 12th. And uh, we're gonna go 15 practices and we'll finish up on Thursday, April the 14th with the spring game. And uh, We've got about four more weeks here or so before we break for spring break. Uh, we're training hard in the weight room right now on the field, doing some drill work and making sure that guys are just getting themselves prepared to go into uh, spring ball to be able to put back the pads back on. Um, things are going very well right now, though. Our team believes our team is uh, they're, they're going through a maturity session right now, of just growing, developing in the off season and uh, leadership is taking place. Some younger guys are stepping up and uh, I anticipate this spring will um, offer some opportunities for some guys to win some jobs, to compete for jobs. Um, we've got some guys that are out right now for spring ball, uh, but I think that will help the other guys to be able to step up and see what they can do as well. And so um, I'm looking forward to it. We've got a great group right now that we're working with and their attitudes have been fantastic. And uh, I really feel like our program's in a great direction, going in a great direction right now. All right. UNCP football head coach Shane Richardson, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Cameron.